So there's a bath event. Okay, all that's left for Jess to do before we continue on with the main story is this bath scene and then two bonding events and then we're good to go. My goodness, that was a lot. But we're finally almost there. I was wondering what was going to happen there for a while. I'm just glad it ended without major incident. Good work, Instructorine. And you too, Tita. No, I didn't do much. I gotta tell you, Oliver, Instructorine and Tia were so helpful as well. You guys also created the perfect diversion for us as well. And you and the princess backed us up with Toa, right, Elise? I'm glad we could be useful. Especially to give back to this village, which was so helpful to you, brother. Yes. Right. Wait, no. We finally have this group in the bath. There's no more important stuff to talk about. Like an exciting confidential secret girls talk. And Rena's here as our special guest as well. Oh, come on, princess. Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm kind of out of place here. I'm just here because at least is used to being in, bat in the bath with me, but maybe I should get out first. Uh, brother? <laughs> Elise is used to it. No! I mean, I guess it's not unexpected for you to have to take him back as a family in a hot spring town growing up. Well, since you won't turn the other way, does that mean you see us as younger sisters as well? I don't sense any bad intentions, but somehow I'm still irritated. What? This is the ideal opportunity to get Irene's acknowledgement again. Yes, at least allow us to tease you a bit here. Understood. I'll accept that as my mission. I think it's important to be a bit drastic once in a while. Yuna too? Can you all settle down a bit? Princess, everyone, I need to apologize for my brother's awkwardness. I understand that this is impossible that this impossible blockade can be extremely irritating. Elise! Instructor Arena's in trouble, but I think it's at least half his fault. But when I was with the Gate. Hmm. <laughs> All right, now two bonding events, and then we can actually head over to the next rivalry. Brother, things got tough in Elan, didn't they? Yes, I'm glad you were able to help us out, Elise. Wait, what's that? This? Oh, that jacket. I forgot I left it with you, Elise. But I thought it was all torn up, so why? Actually, I've been working on mending it in my spare time. I'm not quite finished yet, though, so I can't give it back just yet. Oh, really? Thank you. You really are always helping me. It's only natural to do as a sibling. By the way, I wonder when we're heading to Crossbell. If you have a bit more time, I can put the finishing touches on now. If we have time, well, we won't have much, but... Well, you say finishing touches, but it looks almost complete to me. Or something with an accessory, like the belt or the metal parts. Well, actually, I did request something from some people. I thought it would be good for you thinking of your situation. But it looks good, but it looks like it was a good thing I waited. I don't really get it, but it sounds like you need to go to the surface then. In that case, we can head there with Valimor right away. Others are resting now, so it would be a good chance to go. Well, I suppose that's true. But if I really am going to give this back to you, I have to prepare myself. No, actually, this is a good chance. Alright, but then, brother, can I ask you to come? And so, Reed and Elise headed down to the surface, and the place was unexpectedly. Wow, I didn't think we'd be coming here for this, but what in the world did you- Well, while you were all out, I was able to leave the ship for a while. Schwarzer and his little sister, thank you again for earlier. And by the look of it, you finished that. Let me take a look. Please do. Wow, it turned out perfectly. 
It looks wonderful. I can really see the love that went into it. No way. But it's already so wonderful, I don't see any issue with it. That may be true, but it's different if you're the one to wear it. And since you fixed it up so nicely, it would be a shame if you got torn up again. I lost the special thread to the young lady here. We can imbue it with more magical power. Now, help me out, you two. Right, leave it to me. Feels as good as before, but no, actually better. Well, I don't know about that, but it's a gift full of your. Well, I don't know about that, but no, it's a gift full of your level, these. Seriously, you can be quite, you can be quite heartless, can you not? The strength should be comparable to the black outfit we provided with you before. If you end up rampaging, rampaging due to the curse, with that you should be able to overcome it. So if things get serious, you may want to wear it once in a while. Understood. How can I ever thank you all for this? Thank you so much, Mrs. Dari, Sion, and Roselia. Please allow me to thank you properly for this myself one day. No trouble. It was 90% your effort anyway, young lady. Well, that aside, why are you so nice and formal with Dar Dari? Because she feels like way more of an old lady than you, Rose. Really, thank you, Elise. I'll make sure I wear it and treasure it. Yes, as long as it was helpful to you, if anything happens to it again, I should be sure to mend it. Although, with your current hair color, the black outfit might be more suitable. Yeah, you might be right. Although, in a different way, this might fit me well, too. I mean, I think it suits you just fine as it is. Anyway, I'll fix the other outfit up, too, if anything happens, so just let me know. Right. It's a little concerning that my sister has such a good sense for this kind of thing, but whatever. So, should we head back to the ship, then? We need to hug to Crossbell soon. Elise? I decided I would be brave when I gave you back that jacket. That's why I plan to give it back a little later, but... Brave? These 14 years I've known you, brother. When I was little, I did think of you as just my big brother. But then I got older and realized it wasn't my blood. I don't think it's because we were distant for a time. Right, now that you mention it, when you went to the girls' school, it was a pretty cold shock for me. Yes, and during that time, I could never tell you how I felt. I felt I could never take take it back if I blurted it out, so the distance between us grew. I'm sorry, I know I must have felt uncomfortable. No, no, I knew that a girl of that age would act that way towards her brother. Blurted out? Something you couldn't take back? I... I love you dearly, brother. As your family, as your sister. But it's more than that. You've already overcome two rivalries. You're taking back your life. But we have to face the Saint and Crossbell, and eventually we'll encounter Cedric Rufus and Chancellor Osborne. I am actually not scared now, but at this moment, I'm by your side. And with all of this, this much bravery really isn't anything in comparison. I love you, brother. As much as a woman, just as much as a sister. Probably since the moment I met you. Um, this isn't a joke, right? Of course it isn't. Do you really think I would make such a tasteless joke? No, not at all. That was a joke. Well then, brother, shall we turn to the ship? Wait a minute. You brought yourself to say all of that and now you're just going to leave? What about my own feelings? I'm not saying this because I want an answer. 
Even though I may be powerless, I wanted to tell you my feelings here. So please, please, just don't have any regrets to you, brother. Don't give up on yourself and accept the feelings of the ones you care about. Got it. To be honest, I feel pretty confused and I don't know if I can properly accept your feelings. But I'll keep your words in my heart. Yes. After taking his sister back to the ship, Rian brooded over the words she had left him, and though he felt it was a waste, he mended he put the mended jacket away and returned to his black outfit. Wait. Does that mean I have it now? Oh I do. Not that cool though, with his white hair. Oh actually. There you go, look! You're back to normal! Wow! Nothing... We're done with the game now. Let me turn these quests in, actually. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What is this? Master Quartz. Valhalla. Emma, 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 Emma. Alright, one more to go, and then we can head for the saint. There you are. Oh, Rian, thank you so much for your help in the village earlier. Well, the villagers have all helped us out so much in the past, of course I would help. If you say so. Afterwards, I did offer to restore the barrier, but grandmother told me we would leave it to one of the others in training, so I returned to the ship. So, if you have anything you want to do that I could help with, just let me know. Emma, what are you reading there? Wait, don't tell me. No way, I would never read a forbidden book. This was a note left by Isola Milstein, my mother. Grandmother was always hanging on to it, and she gave it to me finally. I see. She was a traveling witch, like Clotilde, right? Yes, though it sounds like her magical power wasn't actually that high. But she was eager to learn and it did learn and it did. She did a lot of research in the, into the Empire's curse as it manifested itself in the outside world. It sounds like she had a lot of impact on her sister when she was young. Just hearing that makes me realize what an person, amazing person she was. She died in a terrible accident, right? Yes, I don't know if it was with any connection to the Empire's curse, perhaps just a coincidence. Cleansing everything that has the curse is as bad as being taken in by the curse. I see, that might be all true. And she also wrote some things in the letter I learned related to her mission as well. It makes me kind of happy to resurrect some of her feelings from when she was younger. I see. Alright, there's a little good luck charm that she wrote about on this letter. Would you be interested in testing it out? I believe it would be help to wa it would help to wash away the fatigue from your mind and body. And I promise I won't do anything dangerous like I did last time. I'm not worried about that. A good luck charm that Emma's mom wrote in the letter. Well, why not then? Great. This isn't a great place for us, so shall we head somewhere else? I figured you'd, you'd want to use the Atelier like last time. Well, actually, I'm not allowed to use our Atelier for a while after last time. I promise there won't be any danger this time like there was last time, so don't worry. Of course not. It's your mother's good luck charm after all. That smell, it smells like elan flowers. Yes, it's supposed to enhance the effectiveness of this technique. Although this herb has other effects as well. Other effects? Alright, then let's get started. Reen, can you bend down a bit like last time? Oh, bending down, eh? Will do. Here we go again. Well, it's a good luck charm after all, so don't think too much about it. Well, here it goes.
Always naked. Always naked. Oh, oh, cover up. Lewd. Where am I? Oh, she's naked too. Uh, this is neither yours nor my consciousness. Rather, we've extended our consciousness and connected. It's like a dream space. I see, yes. It does feel like I'm not within myself, but... Uh, this form. Well, uh, it's the astral body, so don't think too much about it. It's going to get a bit embarrassing, perhaps, but please try to deal with it. Huh? Ooh, ooh. They're naked and they're so close. Where have I felt this before? My mother Lucia? No, even before that. <laughs> Good morning. I see, was I sleeping this whole time? You carried me here, wasn't that hard? Well, I suppose. How are you feeling? Well, my mind and body feel so clean like I was reborn or something. Your mother's technique is amazing. It seems my mother developed it herself based on the witch's lullaby. It's not used just for children, but for your precious family or your loved ones as well. She used it on my father who was of the outside world and it became a chance to. But it was really, but I was really surprised by the astral body. It's kind of embarrassing, so it makes sense that it's normally used with family. No, I think that may have been an effect of the Elan's flower, but it makes you feel more honest somehow by focusing your thoughts towards each other. Oh come, no, come on, no! It's not like I was planning on being it, like, on being like that. Oh boy. After waiting on Emma to settle down, Reen left the medical office. Okay. I think I'm caught up with everything now. I got the lost charts here. I got the one through twenty-six, with the exception of eight. Okay, we're all set. We're ready to go. Finally, return to Crossbell for the showdown with Arianna. After three and a half hours of prep, we have finally gotten to here. That was rough back there. I really wanted to enjoy Alien a bit more. Good work, you two. By the way, did a guy named Dr. Tio make it back? The heavy blade went off to the ground, and Tosuke had to go file a report in the Foundation. They really did help us out, even though they're so busy. Yes, we felt bad asking, but we had no choice. In any case, it seems that Emma was able to undo all of the effects of Gilbert's magic on the town. We have plenty of trouble ahead of us, still, but you can take it easy for now, Reen. Alright, I'll do that. I heard about what happened in Ulster too, sounds like it got tough. I was naive to not see that the toilet could cause such an extreme effect. I need to thank you personally for your help there. Yes, a lot of people lent a hand there. I'm just hoping life goes back to normal for the residents soon. I agree. Thanks, Reen. Oh, 
Let's go. Heading to Crossbell will advance the main story. All quests and events will expire. And so the courageous set a course for the Crossbell province. They circumvented the surveillance network and were able to reach the airspace above the wetlands. There it is, a pillar of light like the one in Hamel, no doubt. So the sacred ground is just below there, and Master as well. Then the Gargantua must be nearby as well. I think it's already joined the fleet for the war effort against the Republic. It would behoove us to land immediately. Let's begin. No, I don't think that'll be possible. Dr. Schmidt! What do you mean by that? The ship, the ship was just detected on the wide area radar for this area. Most likely they're already aware we are coming. Detection from the north? An attack? No. Is that from the Gargantua? Yes, a beam creating an orbital barrier. From that direction, it must be. Identify it, Elise, Princess. Identifying wide area radar scan. Identify the source. Projecting image now. Orcus Tower? Look! Orcus Tower? It's coming from there. Come in. You guys there? Yona and Lloyd. Do you guys have an idea what that beam coming from the tower is? Can you make it to the SSS building? Security has been reduced. And so, keeping a close eye on the situation, Reen's team went out via the training ground onto Ursula Highway. And they made up with their supporters in the SS building. Ah, there's so many people here. Wow, this huge group is all gathered here. It really does seem like security is getting thin. Yeah, I was kind of skeptical of our arrangement with the government, but... Long time no see, you guys. Glad you're doing well. Well, I was just chilling here and monitoring information from the intelligence division. The more you dig, the more you realize war is really coming. But they really were able to invent the magical barrier generator. They announced it as an experiment with a new defense system, but... Essentially, we're in the domain of the magic science. Not the Empire's magic, but a derivative of the alchemy from Crossbell. Yeah, it looks like it's the same as the barrier I put up when I was the treasure. Although it's not as widespread, it seems capable of blocking a confined space. So, it must be Bell then. Seriously. Yeah. Yes, and the Black Workshop seems to have improved on the technology further. At this rate, it wouldn't be surprising to be thrown completely into war. That's very true. In any case, well, it appears we'll have to deactivate it, in order to complete the rivalry before the war begins. Yes, thinking of our objective. But the tower is under the protection of the special guard, not to mention a barrier enclosing the rooftop. Then what about entering through the geofront? It's true, there is a route into the tower from the geofront, but the security there is extremely tight and there are forces all over. 
I see. I thought it was a good idea. No, I think you might be onto something. Yeah, there were marionettes in the tower before. To just get into the tower, that right will be extremely useful. So then we'll just have to distract the guards? Right, we can distract the security to open up the route into the basement of the tower. It sounds like the bracers, bracer team from Laborla is heading there on the bobcat also. Well, if we have all of them too, I'm sure we can find a way. What about if we play the move you guys used before, Yuna? Remember when you did that musical performance for the old man? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, that performance we did to get the attention of Lord Ballard and St. Ark? How do you know about that? She must have seen it. Yeah, it was just for a moment, but I saw the scene on the spirit pathways. I don't know what else, that just sounded fun. What a ridiculous perception ability. Well, it seems to be a temporary phenomenon that started with the twilight. No, but that might not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we have an up-and-coming professional musician. Not to mention the well-loved aspiring actress from Arkansas. Wait, me? Oh right, Arkansas is extremely popular in Crossball, right? Yes, although unfortunately it's almost entirely suspended now. Two of the headliner actresses are in difficult positions right now, but we do have the young talent, the princess of the stars, Sully, a trade. Revival of the Arkansas, yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Wait, wait a minute, you mean with that Ilya? The staff has been greatly reduced as well, and what would we do about a program? I think we can gather some helpers for that. In fact, we met have a lot of people who'd like to join in among our friends and supporters. Come to think of it, didn't Sherazard practice dancing before? That A rank bracer from Liberal, right? Actually, she was a professional dancer before becoming a bracer, I heard. Oh, that dark skinned babe? She's really something. And she wouldn't have lost any of her physical ability after becoming A rank. I wonder if Estelle might want to join too. Although, of course, I would ask you to take the lead role, Sully. Well, I guess if those two were here, I might be able to do it, but me as the lead role. I'm sure you can do it, Sully. Can we ask you to do this for us to help us get into the tower? Fine, I'll do it. Then it's decided. Revival of the Ark and Seal. Oh, I'm so excited. But things are going to get busy now. Reminds me of our personal performance at the festival. X day is in three days from now. We need to wrap things up by then. So we need to gather our personnel to make sure we have time to practice. Yes, and we need to start advertising as well. And we also need to keep an eye on the special guard and the army. We can't let them know what we're planning. Well, the crossbow times will help you with the full force. Things are tight now due to a reduction in management, but I think we'll be able to make it work. Well, then I'll try my best to keep an eye on info on the normal network. <laughs> then, well, perhaps we'll also lend a hand from the shadows. So. Kurt asked Sully to do education Sully. Ever since the moment <laughs> they left, um, Kurt carried Sully in his arms from out of the geofront. That's when she knew. You are all gathered, and this is our first meeting, Ashen Chevalier. Long time no see, Ellie. Wait, you're the members of the Heiyue Syndicate. And Shin is here too. What are you planning here, Orchid Dragon? I you, heard you all had a run-in with Ellie and Jubo. <laughs> well, our contract with the government expired just the other day, happily. So we figured we might help you guys next. I don't really get it, but I know you're not good news. You're from the Republic's largest trade syndicate. Do you honestly think we can trust you? <laughs> it would be a problem for us as well if the world were to end. That's all there is to it. But, knowing you would say that, we brought something handmade.
the conflagration and father. That picture was taken by our staff immediately before the device started its operation. Now then, shall we start making plans to make it all the way up to them? Afterwards, the cell and Charizard made it to the Empire, and other members came from the Craziers to help with the show. Shades, really? Wow, they're all taking this even more seriously than I thought. Yeah, and I was so surprised Al jumped in at the chance to sing again. Not to mention Prince Oliver at Mint and the entire Light Music Club. And Tita is helping with the backstage setup. And Toa, at least, and the princess are going around to help all over. With Angelic and Dooley staying here, if something happens, things should be fine. Elliot is performing and serving as music director, and Crow is helping out backstage as well. It really does remind me of our festival performance. Well, Crow aside, I guess we can't argue about the other senpais who's here to help with the music. So everyone is gathered and even Heiwei is planning to help out. It sounds like they came up with a good excuse to be able to help us out. It sounds like they're not a group you can take lightly, even more than we thought. Yes, but they also want to help want to help to prevent the end of the world. As long as their interests align, I believe they can be trusted. Getting definitive information out of them was great as well. We have to go up against the strongest before we can even make it to the saint. The conflagration aside, my father is really behaving just like his ancestor. The manager of the stall raider, the ancestor of the Arseed family. Yes, that destiny may have been used as part of the Twilight as well, but this is our great opportunity to challenge the strongest there are. I agree. Alright, then how about we gather information in the city and finish up our preparations before the show tomorrow. We also need to consider who the members of the infiltration team will be. Of course, Lara will go. I'd like to go along as well. The Vanner and Arseed styles have cooperated for a long time, although it's presumptuous of me to assume I can represent the Vanner style myself. That sounds great. I think we should have Makis and Charon accompany us as well. Yes, I've visited the Orcus Tower many times as an inspectorate, and as a severing chains I've visited several times by the request of the governor. Please leave the hidden sections to me. We'll do that. Currently, Director Tio and NLLE from the SSS are gathering all sorts of information and making preparations. Let's start helping Eustace, Guys, and Emma and all the others who are involved in negotiations and preparation for the show. Let's go around the city making preparations and when the time is right, we'll call out, out to Elliot. Alright, then let's go. So, mandatory are gonna look like this. Okay, let's see. Oh, um, where am I going? This way. Wait, this way, right? 
This way, okay. Melda shop. This is a Melda shop, right? Here? Yeah. Jesus. Matakina. So let's see. Oh, there's a side quest monster. You know what, actually? I'm not gonna use Machias for you yet. Yeah, let me toss in you, let me toss in you now. And I'll run like this. This way it leads to the Geofront Area X. This is the path to the elevator that leads to Orcus Tower, but it's heavily guarded according to Lloyd. I don't think we'll be able to find the way through right now. I see, but it might be good to check out the location. I'll also get a strange vibe from down there, it might be good to check out if we have time. All the way over there? God, that's far. At least I don't really have to fight anything on my way there. There you are. What the hell are you? I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do a certain thing. That's just my hunch right now.
That was very underwhelming. Let's see, um, what else can I do? Yona, I can't log in. What is this? Wait, where did my backdoor on my server go? Come on, the governor upped up the security again? I don't really get it, you doing okay? Well, this level of security won't stop me. It'll just take about 10, maybe 15 minutes to punch through. Ah, uh, for a freckled little twerp, you sure are persistent. I think there's a good route in, I'll show you. I never asked for help from your cheats.
Oh, hello, brother. Hello, everyone. It seems like you're heading around checking in then. Thanks for your help with that. You too, Director Tio, really. It looks like you're getting some information from across the orbital net now. It's for probing into the security perimeter across the entire area as well as movements of the intelligence division. And just in case, we're scattering the information about the practice performance across the net. I've been struggling to identify the sources of the information, so I would ask Yona and Kia to help with that. You say it so easily, but it's quite a high level of engineering skill. Yeah, it's too, too difficult, so I will leave it to you. Naturally. But in any case, these two have been making their work easier. Well, we're just doing some basic support, but even still, we've definitely learned a thing or two from being in charge of operations on the ship. And thanks to Toa and Elise's guidance as well. Nice work, my lady. Well, I just shared some of my basic knowledge about the OS. I think that's more than enough. Lloyd, you're here in morgues. Looks like you're going around the city in preparation for the mission then. Yeah, that's the idea. We were already working with everyone yesterday, so it's even busier now. It's been a while since we could walk around this Philly though. It's pretty nostalgic. That's my line. We were really worried when you disappeared for so long. And now you look like you're close to catching up the guy. People say that, but it hurts. But I do need to thank him for letting me return. Including the fact that I made it in time. In time? Well, actually, that reminds me. Weren't you drafted, Oscar? Oh right, I remember that. Yeah, I'll be cooking for them, but I don't think I'll have the time to go to the front. I'll be leaving tomorrow. I see. Sorry, Oscar. I wish there was something I could do. Don't say that, Lloyd. You're in a pretty tough spot yourself. We both worry about each other. No arguments there, I suppose. Ah. Please be careful, Oscar. Thanks, guys. I'll be taking care of some errands now before I head out tomorrow. Out one last bread competition with Bennett. Bennett, I remember her working hard on specialty bread before. Yeah, you guys need to settle your feud over bread baking. I'd like to see it myself. Ben is stuck in the kitchen now? I haven't actually seen her today. Your bread is almost done too. I hope she makes it. How could she be off messing around somewhere on the day of our competition? Uh, Oscar? I don't think that's, that's possible at all. Well, I'm sure she'll be back. Let's just wait. Right, I'll finish up my prep. I hope Ben is okay. But we should check if we can if we see her around the city. That's right, let's take a look. Ending to the, this, yeah, this is the district. Okay. And then you. The best bread. I already know it. But no, just one more push. Bennett, you doing okay? You know. Oh, it's nothing. Just lost in thought. I thought I might be able to get a good hint in the, in, the, in the entertainment district, but I just can't come up with any ideas. This might be my limits. I think you make really delicious bread already, Bennett. Could there be a technical problem then? I see, some kind of mental block. Like you need to think ex why exactly you are making bread in the first place. Why do I... What do I feel? I see, I make this delicious bread for... It. I think I can do it then. Thanks guys, I think I got it. I'm gonna pull... I'm gonna pull it off. Bennett, looks like you had a breakthrough. Thank you so much. Would you like to come too? I'd love to have you all see just what I can do in the final battle. Well, we are pretty interested ourselves. Well, we are pretty interested ourselves. Yes, I think this might be fate for us to watch. Then it's decided. Let's head back to Morgs. Right. And so they accompanied her back to Morgs, and soon they were waiting for the young bread makers, Oscar and Bennett, and the delicious bread. Well then, let us carry out the final bread battle between Oscar and Bennett. We have Lloyd and some special guests here participating as well. No objections? Of course not. I'm totally prepared. 
This is a bread contest. It seems more serious than I thought. Well, it's understandable. They've spent over two years facing each other in contests like this. Very well, then we'll start with Oscar's submission. Understood. The bread is called Seventh Feel. It's freshly baked, so please try it out. Sampled Oscar's Seventh Feel bread. This is a sandwich? The bread shines like gold and consists of seven ingredients. It's like a work of art. Let's give it a try. One bite first. Wow, what? This flavor that spreads around my mouth, what is it? It's made with soft boiled egg, and the other six ingredients are all combined in my own original recipe. This is perfect. It's more than just delicious. The sandwich looks great. This dish is just as good as one you get in any high class restaurant. Yeah, and I think it'd be perfect to pair with some hot coffee. Yes, this will definitely be going on our new store menu. Oscar. Well, show us your bread too, Bennett. You just finished baking it, right? Yes, it's my turn now. My bread is called Ultimate Chiffon. Please enjoy it. Got a sample of her bread. These are pancakes topped with butter and honey. Yeah, that looks like it. This is pretty ordinary. Let's take a taste then. What is this fluffy, nice sensation? I think I'm gonna start crying. Yeah, it's delicious. It feels so peaceful. I'm so surprised. This conveys such a sense of kindness and warmth. What drove you to create this? At first, I was obsessed with making the best bread, but then I realized that's not right. I actually wanted to make one more meal for Oscar before he left. We had so many memories over the past few years, no matter where you go, I want you to remember that happiness. I'm taking a small piece, Bennett. This is delicious. It's such a nice, happy flavor, it brings tears to your eyes. You used more than your senses and technology, you put your whole heart into this. I was completely defeated. Thanks, Bennett, for sending your feelings. I will definitely survive this and come home, so let's bake bread again soon. Right. The best bread is Bennett's. Good work, you two. Sorry to make all of you guys stick around for this. No, we really enjoyed watching this. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to see it too. So, where did Bennett go? I don't know. When I said anything like together again or with all my thoughts, she blushed and ran away. She called to her. She said to call her back when it's time to clean up. Poor Bennett. Looks like there's a lot going on. Seriously, it looks like that girl is the same as ever. Well, let's leave it at that. Thank you for your help as well. Please take this with you since you all came all came all the way here. Wow, that's a huge amount. You sure? Well, then we'll enjoy this later. Well, we plan to commercialize this bread, but we're short on materials for now. So I won't be able so I won't be for a while so that we showcase it. Well, We'll look forward to it. Once the situation once this situation improves in the future, let's find a way to open up the future of the Empire and Crossbow together. Right. 